Okay, and our prominent visual reference as we come around to the north is going to be, I'm going to say Melbourne Airport. So we can see that in this little bowl uh, of the cloud here. It's going to be a nice easy reference, pretty much as well, parallel to the west bank of the river. Alright, so we got 90 knots, 3,500. And our clearing turns are complete. We're going to go to the left first, making sure that that's clear. So here we go. So, looking straight ahead, we're going to smoothly roll aileron and rudder to the left. Nice and gradual on the roll in, okay? We're going to tickle in about 200 RPM. Alright, keep rolling. We're going to set three spins of trim as we hold some back pressure here. And three spins of trim. Now, once we got that set, picture should be set outside. And here is your south fit, three, six, A little bit of opposite three, aileron three, helps three, us out three, here. Two miles offshore. Not correct any deviations, I would say. A little bit of opposite aileron there as we come around. Airspeed looks fine. All right, as we come back to Melbourne, push forward, right rudder, right rudder, pushing through the level picture. Smoothly roll to the right one, clear the right. And that should be about the bank angle there that we want. Top left to bottom right in the case of a right steep turn on the horizon as it comes through that point in my clear shield. Got about 95 knots, slightly descending, reduce the bank. Come around here, come back one on the power. Looks like we're accelerating a little bit. Just a hair of back pressure here as we slip in our altitude, pushing left rudder back to the level picture, tickle back 200 on the RPM, three trims forward. All right, so we're back to level here for the steep turns, right? So ending back, making our corrections back to 3,500 and 90 knots. We'll go to the right clearing turns, right is clear.